Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question even of three. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So we have to check if even index level has odd integer value with strictly increasing order from left to right. On the other hand, we have to check if odd index level has even integer value with decreasing order from uh, left to right. So we have to check like a level by level, right? Like this. So that's why I think uh, breast fast search is easier than depth fast search, right? So I'll show you uh, two ways with like a, a breast fast search and a depth fast search. But uh, since uh, breast fast search is easier than depth fast search, first of all, uh, I'll show you a breast fast search solution. Okay, next, let's break down the condition. So we have to separate even level and odd level. And uh, we know that this level is 0, this level is 1, 2, 3, right? So that's why simply if we can divide a uh, level by 2 is uh, 0. So in that case, this is a, a even level. On the other hand, if we cannot divide level by 2, is not 0. So this is a odd level, right? Very simple. OK, so let's see the condition when we are at even level. So description said the values should be odd integer with increasing order from left to right. So we have two conditions, odd integer and uh, increasing order. So uh, let's think about a false case. That's because if we meet a false case, uh, we can immediately return false. So false case should be node value um, divide to equal zero. So that means uh, this value, node, current node value is even, right? But uh, we need a, a odd value, right? So that's why if um, this formula is zero, in that case, we should return false immediately. This is a one condition. The other condition should be uh, check if uh, increasing order or not, right? So in that case, uh, we have to know uh, previous value, right? So that's why uh, we keep the previous value. So previous value exists, and uh, previous value is greater than or equal current node value. So if we meet uh, this condition, that should be uh, decreasing order, right? But uh, we want an uh, increasing order in this case. So that's why if we meet uh, this condition, uh, we can immediately return false. Very easy, right? And uh, let's think about uh, when we are at odd level. Actually, it's opposite of even level. So that's why node value divide 2 equal 1. In that case, we should return false. So we want an even integer value for odd level. But uh, if we meet this condition, so current value should be odd integer, right? So that's why we should return uh, false. And uh, another case is, um, so we want a strictly decreasing order from left to right. So that's why um, previous value exists. And uh, previous value is less than or equal current, no, uh, current value. So if meet this condition, so that is an uh, um, increasing order, right? But we want a decreasing order. So that's why we should return false in this case. Yeah, that is the main logic. And other than that, actually, a uh, typical breast fast search. So I'll show you how to implement in the next section. Yeah, so let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. So this is a breast fast search solution. So we use a queue and a day queue. And first of all, we append root node with rebel. So queue.append, and we use a tuple, and a root, and a level 0, right? And then while q, so every time we start a new level, so do you remember? So we have to keep previous value, right? So that's why initialize prev equal long. And then we use a one more for loop for underscore in range and length of q and uh, take the most left data, so node and uh, level equal q dot op left. And then let's implement uh, this main logic. So if um, level divide to equal 0. In that case, uh, this is an even level. 
So in the even level, um, if node.value divide to equal um, zero. In that case, we should be done false. And another case should be if priv value exists and priv value is greater than or equal to node.val. In that case, we should be done false, right? So you can combine uh, this condition, but uh, I separate these three conditions uh, to make you guys understand easily. And then um, another case should be if a uh, level uh, divide two equal one. In the case, if node dot bar divide two equal one, we should return false. And another case should be if priv value exists and uh, priv value is less than or equal node dot value. So in the case, we should return false, right? And then after that, um, we have to update a uh, priv value for next iteration. So that's why priv equal uh, node dot value. And then check if current node has uh, children. So if node dot left, so we have to check from left to right, right? So that's why uh, we have to append left child at first then right child so uh, q dot append and uh, we need a node dot left and a level right so next level should be current level plus one and uh, let me copy this and change left to right and the level should be same level plus one and then after that so out of while loop return uh, true. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity and the space complexity should be order of n, where n is a number of nodes in the tree. Yeah, so I'll explain the solution with breast fast search. Okay, so for depth fast search solution, uh, we can use some idea from breast fast search. I think we can use this idea and this idea, but we cannot use uh, this idea. Why? That's because in a breast fast search solution, basically we move horizontally, right? So that's why we can keep previous value with simple variable. But uh, this is a, a depth fast search solution, so we move up or down, right? That's why every time we move a next level, so previous value should be changed, right? So how can we deal with this problem? So my idea is to keep a previous value with array. And the first of all, empty array. And every time we reach new level, so we, in the case, we append zero to uh, previous uh, array. So first of all, uh, we start from root node, right? And the check length of previous array is less than or equal to current level. So now they are same, right? In the case, append zero to previous array. So this zero uh, will be a, a previous value. And then in the end, so we have one at level zero, right? So that's why uh, in the end, update um, index zero with one. And then move next. So um, check length of previous array is equal to uh, level one, right? One, one. So in that case, I'll append zero to previous um, array. So uh, yeah, this zero is also um, previous value. And then in the end, so our index one will be updated with 10, right? And then move next. So we find three, and this is a new level. So that's why append uh, zero to previous variable, I, I mean, previous array. And then in the end, so index two should be three, right? And then move next. So we reach level three. So length of priv array should be three and level three. So they are equal. So that's why append zero to priv array. And in the end, um, so previous value should be 12, right? So now we have one, 10, three, 12. So that's why, so let's go back to three and move right. 
So in the case, we find eight, right? So, and uh, we are at level three. So um, key of priv array should be level. So that's why priv and the key is three. So that's why, uh, I mean, index three. So zero, one, two, three, right? So that's why we can access 12. And uh, 12 plus us, um, current value, eight. So I think uh, level three, uh, we need a decreasing order, right? So that's why uh, it, that's fine. So that's why update um, index three with current value eight. So that uh, eight will be a previous value when we reach six, right? And then at six, uh, so we are at level three. So that's why, again, we can access like a prev and a three. Easy, right? So I don't explain everything, but uh, uh, we do the same thing uh, for all nodes. And then uh, if uh, we traverse all nodes successfully, so in the case, we should return true. If not, we should return false. OK, so let's write a code. First of all, create a priv array, and then return dex for search, and passing the root node, and the level is 0. And let's create a, a dex for search as an inner function. So dex for search, and then let's say node and level. So first of all, this is a base case. So if not node, in that case, return two. And uh, next, so if length of a uh, brief is less than or equal level, in that case, uh, we append zero to brief array. And then if level divide two equal zero, in that case, if Node dot bar divide two equals zero or priv exist so priv level and the uh, priv level is greater than or equal node dot bar in the case we should return false and uh, else if node dot bar divide two equal one or so priv exists and uh, priv level is less than or equal node dot bar. So in the case we should return false. Yeah, this is also um you can combine the condition. And then after that update priv and level equal node dot bar. And then it's uh, left it equal so move left so depth for search and uh, node dot left and the uh, level should be so we go down so level plus one and then let me copy left side and uh, change left to right and then right and the level is the same level plus one and then after that is left it and is right it, we should return true. If not, we should return false. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, it looks good. And the time complexity and the space complexity is the same as solution one, order of n, where n is a number of nodes in the tree. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. So please support me with the action such as comment and hitting the like button. I'll see you in the next question.